Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Weathering Waves. According to Chen Yan, Hong Sen's mayor, Jen Shi has gone off to Truth Seeker's Path, or the Court of Severe Ruins. The Chaifu key story in the Hearts of Truth Seeker's Path is a prediction to opening Monglong Chamber and the audience with Jew, the Sentinel. Today, we're going to continue doing the Hong Kong just to read this life for you guys last episode, so let's read this for you guys. We show this memorial um, number C532, date 05. As our 303rd experiment ended in another failure, we couldn't help but we sense our, our, about our intel excitement when we completed the first Corsator prototype. However, we were always aware that it was crude cool replica of C001's power. My calculations showed that the central hills could only function within a specific distance and would become useless once removed from the region's time barrier. Although they may still work at the luminous store, despite this, I clung to hope. The concept of a century resonance was more than just a theory to me. It was one well, life's work. It was terrifying to think it could all be a merely fantasy. Research memorial number C545, date 26. The 931st Coral Store is like its predecessors was destroyed by intense resonance shock. But it successfully restored time for a bare 1.29 seconds, making it a valuable sacrifice. I was right. My belief is the secondary resonate theory has been confirmed. When two entities resonate at high intensities, the weaker one can estimate much greater resonate power than its original capacity. The only issue is that how the Corsetters we've been making are too fragile to for the task. I need a more powerful resonate. But the risk is too great. No one can withstand the resonate stock of C001 without enduring catastrophic overclocking. Note, I must speak to our visitor. I saw them telling C001 something. I am convinced that there is a connection between what they did and the brief successor of Corsetters number 931. Yes, I have seen it with my own eyes. C001 must have transmitted some form of unknown energy to closer number 391 just when I had deemed the experiment a failure. Okay, we learned something from that. There's no now, let's continue away, going. Hmm? Oh, oh, you guys see that? A lion. I mean, is it? Oh, she's right there! So, did you guys follow me here? What the hell? She's like, Whoops! Oh, who the fuck are you? <gasps> you. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt him. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... Shh... Like, shut up! <laughs> I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have him here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need his help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But we already owe Rover a lot. Hmm. Mm. I'm here to find out about my past. As we headed toward Mount Firmament, Rover mentioned a strange dream he had. It may have been a flashback of his lost memories. Rover, Jue, and Mount Firmament. There must be some kind of crucial connection between the three. Rover also has his own reasons for being here. I see. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi?
According to the court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chenshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since Gotta the city's it. founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. What do I do with those when I collect those? Does it reveal to itself when I'm done with this quest? Efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today, it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow, it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever. Or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronosorters, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually. But we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li, I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. He is also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Mm. Uh, there might be other options. Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Hmm. Hmm. This might be they might be using the code of Salvatis mechanism. Yes. It could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. 
The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. Got it. Okay, I wasn't expecting to find her up like way sooner than this episode. Does well. What? I saw it. There you go. No, let's head forward. Ooh, I'm just doing this anyways because why not? Ooh, some shells. In this. Boom. Oh boy, look at that! You see that? Look, our last target on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. And I got you. Two. And three. Um, did it work? There you go. It worked. Um, turn off. The court of Savante said me uh, the traps here. Talk, talk. They must have worked hard to protect Mian Long Chamber. Okay, let's do this. Um, back up. Crazy. Think you can catch up? Hmm. Does this look a space for enemies? Huh? It's a trap. Watch out. I Oh my god, it's these enemies. I fought them off camera. They're insane actually. They look like um that one amino enemy that's in Monster and Gigi Impact. That's what it reminds me of. Which is kinda of scary. Oh what the hell? You became a dragon? I didn't do this! In the child kill to ooh ouch. That's amazing by the way. Together we vanish. Playable! What your pyro? I didn't know about this! I mean obviously she just become playable. That means I'm gonna save for her then that's the case. I love it, I love it. That may hurt, but yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Boo! Okay, that call it click. Ooh. That's a close to me. Okay. Wobba! One with the sounds. I want to see you all actually, curious. Ooh, she took that down! And you're not even playable yet. But I can't wait for that. No rush. Oh my. Back to my mobile team. Activate the final doorway. Oh, it's open. Nice. I'm done with all three flare stones. Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Um, what's the point of all this? Trying to lead us? Is it trying to lead us back to where we came from? That's what it looks like. From the elevator. No, we're head upper. I like this position. It's very, uh, I don't know. Okay, we are back to this place. No. Ooh. Oh, I'm sliding! With heels? Okay! Whee, look at me! Oh, that was fun. I should keep going. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Just collect There's these. No time to waste. Okay. When I see materials, I collect those. Ooh, where are we? Do I see another bill somewhere? I see the map. Hey, they just grab you. The cipher key. There's another bell somewhere? Is that above me? That was below me. Okay. 
Now the cipher key. Now we're gonna get the cipher key. And that's it. Rover, take good care of the cipher key. Okay. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. What about you? Please don't forget. I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinshi. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. The Fraxidus are here for me. Hey, hold up. Why are looking down your tits? Yes. They've yeah, been focus. constantly watching you. Interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself... That's just been... That's just gonna trip and fall. When she was walking backwards. I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Hmm? Oh. Speak of the devils. Someone's here? What's up? What's going on now? Watch out! <laughs> oh, of course, they followed us here, didn't they? How rude. This is not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Ooh, nice angle. Yeah, hold him off of us. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Oh, oh, damn, look at this. Demonstrate your skills to us. The fine stare and the jiggles. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that was like a young look. I couldn't read that though, by the way. Those artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Chen Li has her plans. I don't believe we will run into more ambushes on the way. Hmm, like this teddy bear who's blocking this? Give me the golden star! I've had enough. Get lost. Oh, yeah, break that. It's more than tight. Boom. Keep blessing, blessing, blessing. You don't get up. But yo, he did. Last tries. And get the golden piece for a weak enemy. Okay, it's actually down there. So that's where we're going next. Hopefully I don't. She's back. Yeah, I'm back. I must go tell Lady Xin Yi. I'm back! What up, bitch? I return home! That's alright! Okay, we are home. Lady Yoshi, Madame Yoshi has returned. Everyone's freaking out like, oh shit, she's back. <laughs> With the main character, Walter. Try to place the shadow keys on the key forge. The Mianlun chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. About how the Fasset imprisoned you, Sentao? Chang Li was right. They used the Court of Cervantes research to trap our Sentinel in its resting chamber. How do they do it? 
they use the chrono sorters. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidas sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the chrono sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the Sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad was no match for the Sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the Sentinel would clash with the energy of the Chrono Sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. Hmm, how could Sowa and Chrono Sorters trap the Sentinel? What if the Fraxidus modified those Chrono Sorters? A whole bunch of them, pushed to their limits, all working together to deliver one massive blow. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. Did she update Zhang on her findings at Truth Speaker? So the Sentinel is actually injured. And it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jinjo's inhabitants. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinshi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I'm a seed born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every corner of Jinjo. But now, I've returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. <sighs> no matter what happens or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. 
Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. Okay. Once you pass through Hongchen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's iconic loom-shaped cliff. I wish you two the best of luck. Okay. Best of luck. Now we are on our way to the pole. Oh. Okay, let's go. So, up here, huh? So this is where the chamber is. Chi, so far, everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie, I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself. Okay. Now we are about almost. Oh, another bell! Oh, that wolf is so frozen. Keep it moved. When I see those ice things around us, do I, am I freezing? Or is that showing how cold it is? Anyways, I think it'll be fine in the meantime. Just gotta be kept the frozen parts. Okay, so this building right here? The Mian Loom Chamber should be deep in the cave. Another cave Let's area. Go. Okay, another cave. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. I need to go down here. What up, bitch? Time for some hot action. Hot action. Yeah, I'm pissing forward after I do this. Think you can catch up? Oh, you think that hurts, huh? Nice, will okay, that hurts. Tear them to pieces. Down the pieces! Billy, you missed one shot. But that one dead. I'll be good. You on? There you go. Yeah, keep striking at them. You done? Okay, you're done. Hey, Not look at that. Found any keepers? Well, no. So this area is new, so I'll be looking around at the same time while I'm doing this. Okay, Good. like there's no time to waste. Like those enemies down there. Yeah, what up? Yeah, I'll just jump over here like nothing happened. Time to wrap it up. My field of expertise. Yeah. Tuck them all. Joe! Okay. Attacking. Wait a minute, is she dead? What did she do? The hell? Yeah, okay, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. What the hell? There's just one left. Okay. Nah, yeah, we'll be good though. Okay, Baju is gonna heal me little by little. Of course, one she was still alive, apparently. I guess not. Oh, do you know what? I need to give her some healing. I got food to heal, right? Hopefully, or probably don't. I actually do. That's good. Not a lot, though. Um, extra five hundred. I will give her this. Mm, cool down is so useless. That sucks. Gotta deal with these enemies first. Oh boy, here we go. The golden. Oh, 
I mean, I could just... Uh, boom! Tear them to pieces. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. There's no time to waste. Zap string. Zap string. Ooh, we're gonna watch it. Gonna watch it. Watch it. Oh, I miss. Hit this one. Doing good amount of damage. Tear them to pieces. Shock him off. Okay, go down, done. And down, done. And ooh, another chest. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The falls up. What can we do about it? <gasps> oh, another one. Lizard, come here. Okay. Now we go down there. You see that? Ooh. This must be the Mian Long Chamber. We should now help the Sentinel break free from the Flare Crest's binds. The water sub isn't moving at all. Like, what the Bruno fuck? Bruno's orders nearby may have frozen this body of water in time. Or it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. Got it, ma'am. Oh. Ooh, there's some enemies down here. So we could walk on water now, huh? Oh, don't slip and fall with wearing heels, Ying Lin. You'll be fine. Good. All right, there's just no take them down. My field of expertise. Oh my god, they're like penises I'm dealing with this pop out. I fuck this up count too, by the way. They're very interesting. Oh, dodge. Nuh uh Don't put it inside of me. Nuh uh Don't put your sperm inside of me. Nuh uh oh, Don't you do that. Don't put your sperm inside of me. Because I don't want children. Okay, that's done. What do we have here? Hey, it costs 48. Can't hide from me. Huh, it's kind of insane the fact you go on these now. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep bite I'm gonna do healing. So the poem is now what? I can feel the sentinel's presence inside, but it's not responding. That's insane! You guys see this? Is it gonna come out? To attack us? Oh. We're gonna do like find other them. We're gonna find those three. Oh, great. At least we're gonna find three of those. So the inspect. Flare crest. Mm hmm. Sentinel is telling us we need to find the three flare stones corresponding to the flare crest. Then we will be able to lift the confinement set by the Fraxidus. But I'm not seeing any flare stones or any kind of entrance to another chamber. Mm. There the seems to be something underwater. Let's start with the Chrono Sorter here. Under the sea. Hello. Oh, something is gone. The water you see level has dropped. It's the flare stone on that rock. 
Let's go retrieve it. There's two of them. Let me retrieve the first one. First one. Done. Two more to go. Let's look for them nearby. Did I saw another one? Or am I mistaken to fight us that one of them actually? Oh my god, there's some enemies nearby. Let's see them down. Come here, bitch! Administer need to find a way to destroy the spikes with the promoter's help. Same as last time. Let's locate the photon ball first. Yes, yeah, let him down. You're done. <clears throat> Just collecting these five star artifacts. Now, these are being sucked away. We know that for a fact. Can I go up there? Oh, yes, you can. The oh. remaining photon vault is hidden behind the fissured ledge. Fissured ledge. Took him down for us. Only there is a tacitite falling it. Let's look around. Yeah. Boom! You are dead, huh? Bajo! Okay, down, shut down. Ooh, look at this. I fuck well, just fine without slipping and falling. Hey, what up, enemies? Tranquility. Oh, bring it on. It's more than tight. Take this. Take this. Oh, what? Oh, you saw something bigger than me, huh? Oh, you're missing your shots. It's more than tight. Tear them to pieces. Yep. My field of expertise. You down. Yeah, fuck your big eye friend. It's our curtain call. Hey, boy! Wait, check the file. Huh, what's this now? That seems different. Once, tacit discords terrorized the land. The, the region of Jinjo was under siege. A mother and her newborn child were hiding in ruins. Trying to avoid the deadly creatures. Yeah, look at those enemies. They weren't safe for long, as the tacit discord found them. The mother sacrificed herself to protect her child. But with her gone, it was difficult for the newborn to survive. In a couple of minutes, its loud cries gradually died out. Fortunately, the newborn's cries echoed through the forest with a unique resonance that reached the ears of the mighty Sentinel. With a burst of energy, our Sentinel dispelled the surrounding evils. But sadly, it was too late. That night, Mount Firmament shook with the roars of a lung and dark clouds gathered. The sentinel returned with a dead infant in its embrace. As if by magic, somber clouds parted and shooting stars lit up the sky. 
With Mount Firmament's unique flow of time, the Sentinel brought the deceased infant back to life. The resurrected infant became known as, as the, the Sentinel's Sentinel. appointed resonator and went on to become the magistrate of Jinjo. Damn, she's a special she she's a special one. <sighs> the deceased infinite heal, is it? Yes. It's me. I've lived in Jinjo my whole life and never ventured into Hongjen. Yet even I know of the legend. To me, Jue is more than just our sentinel or a revered divine being. It raised me and saved me from certain death. I've been thinking about it on our way here. If the sentinel predicted our fight, why would it even bother saving me in the first place? Now I understand why. Because I am the Sentinel's Resonator. I may not have any extraordinary abilities, but I do possess the temporal program that it accidentally lost. If Jinju ever faces a similar time crisis, I... I might be the only one who can set things right. In our Sentinel's prediction, the battle between us is supposed to happen in the distant future. It had been waiting for an opportunity, a right moment to tell me the truth. That's why it didn't explain. Now may not be the opportunity the Sentinel has been waiting for, but my body cannot hold up much longer. I have to go and face it while I still can, to learn about the truth or complete our destined battle. Hmm. As you feel, I don't want to see you suffer. Give up my duty. I never thought about it. To be honest, I did doubt myself many times. It was the endless kindness of you, Chung Li, Xing Yi, and everyone in Jinzhou that gave me the courage to push on. Even Jue's decision to bring me back to life. Whether out of pity or not, I am truly grateful. The thought of it warms my heart every time. Jinjo holds everything that's dear to me. Even without the title of Magistrate, I could never leave Jinjo behind. But your wounds... Look at Joe. I'm okay. The pain I'm feeling is nothing compared to those trapped in the temporal disruptions. I must find the Sentinel as soon as possible. We draw from the same source of power. Saving it means saving myself. Do you have to fight the Sentinel? If there is truly no other option in the end, then I will have to fight it. I refuse to back down. I will fight. To protect the Sentinel and to defend Jin Jo. One life may be lost, but many will be saved. If it means keeping everyone safe, then I have no regrets giving my own life. But let me make one thing clear. I am not planning on dying yet. I am here to fight for a chance at survival, no matter how slim that chance may be. We're not in a situation where death is our only option, are we? Hmm. I trust your decision. Thank you. For placing your trust in me. Come to think of it, many good things have happened to me since you arrived in Jinjo. Thank you, Rover. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go meet the Sentinel with you. My teacher Chung Li told me it's up to both of us to solve the crisis at Mount Firmament. As I know, you have a special connection with our Sentinel. I need your support in this decision. But don't worry. I'm prepared. This isn't about succumbing to destiny. It's about embracing it fully. 
I am grateful to have you by my side through it all. Hmm, got it. I did see a chest though. Did that just open? It did. Hold up. I saw a chest somewhere. Where was it? Oh, there he is. What do we have here? <laughs> you can't hide from me. Nip. Mm -hmm. Up with the. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, it looks like that. Let's do it like that. That's a good thing to do it. Okay. So let me grab that. And do that. Think you can catch up? Oh, nice. Mm. No, part two. Oh, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna look around here still. Now this one. Did I saw? Oh yes, I did. Yeah, come here, flower. I mean, oh bug. No, let me touch you to get rid of this. Um. Oh, okay, that one is blocked as well. I think I know what to do. Then I saw it somewhere. It's up here somewhere. Oh yes, it is. Um, if that's up there and that's there. Um. Hold on, make sure this place. I mean, that's already shut down. Because that one is already blocked. Unless, if possible. Oh, wait. Hmm. Hold up. Never mind. Let me. Let me check this out. Let me try this out real quick. Think you can catch up? How far can I go with this actually? Because I know for a fact you can't go that far. <laughs> so. Is there any distance behind me though? It does. It seems. Like oh, wait, no, that's the second one. Oh, I didn't see that. One last flare stone to go. Okay, I didn't realize for a second that does. Ooh, it's disappearing. Oh, look how it looks. I'm gonna aim. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Take you down. Alright, now I'm gonna back up. Go under waters. Can I drink from this? It would be kind of funny if you could, actually. <laughs> Infinite water! Yay! Okay. Oh, sunk it low. Now we got one more. Gonna break down from this. Which happens to be over there. At least I took down the enemies earlier. Just gonna grab a heal. Here we go. Walking down. Good. Now we can get that flare stone. Hmm. From those two? Yep. And boom. And boom. I'm only shooting it down. What up, Lion? Do this. That's one tough wolf I mean long I deal with. Take this. You're the last one. Woo! All set. The sentinel should be able to break free now. Yes. I believe so. 
And it comes up to her and be like, I'm free. I'm free. I can now be with you. Yay. That's it? Really? Yeah, that's it. I probably just need a like, catch of what? Find a boss fight? No, what's going on? Oh, you're glowing! I'm, oh, I'm floating! Damn! Now we're up face to face with this. It's like that dragon. If you tell me a boss fight, ooh, I'm way for it. Jinji, it has been quite some time. And greetings, Lord Arbiter. Or should one address you as Rover now? I was called that? Interesting. One cannot discern the cause of your arrival. Yet its significance heralds Jinjo's fateful juncture. Shall a child who has lost their memories take up arms and fight for their fate? Or shall they retreat to their cradle and slumber? The seed of the future shall be sown in this very moment. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean by apathy? What shall I do? Once the situation settles, an explanation shall be provided. For now, one must implore you to simply engage, decide, and observe. Genji, your journey has been an arduous one. Aside from aiding one in this predicament, surely there are other inquiries you wish to make. I cannot bring myself to ask for more. All I seek is the truth. Mount Firmament is in grave danger. Regarding the temporal mandate and your injuries, please do not keep the truth from me any longer. One understands your concerns. The timing may not be optimal for this disclosure, yet in the midst of crisis, one must act with expedience. For one will soon perish. Oh. One such as this, of immortal nature, is designed to endure for all time. Yet one suffered severe harm in ancient times, and now relies on the Mianlong Chamber for survival. This is not the optimal solution. For a long time, one has had to use this chamber to replenish energy, hoping to delay the inevitable doom. Yet fate cannot be defied. The Fraxidus have conspired against this one. Now, the injury only worsens. The Mianlong Chamber can no longer prolong one's life. If you die, what will happen to Jinzhou? Jinzhou! Jinjo. The city of Jinjo will be no more. <sighs> Ever since one descended upon Mount Firmament, Using the power of temporal mandate to repel tacit discords, time has been in disarray within this location. The fate of Jinjo was sealed from that moment on. Over the past millennia, one has defied the laws of nature and sustained Jinjo at the cost of one's own life force. 
Otherwise, the temporal disruption would wreak havoc not only on Mount Permanent, but on the entire region of Jinjo. If this were to happen, all life will be engulfed in a chaotic storm of twisted time flow. What would happen to them? Jinjo shall forever remain frozen in time. The past and the future melt into one, rendering life indistinguishable from death. The ceremonial rituals and endless battles persist, intertwining joy and sorrow into an eternal blur. All inhabitants of Jinjo shall endure this perpetual fate until time itself ceases to exist. It is this one's own doing. And one must put an end to it. In the coming days, one will exert every ounce of strength to freeze the time in Jinjo at the cost of one's remaining life. In that moment, Jinjo will fall into stillness, but not perish. In the distant future, the people of Wanlong may discover a method to rescue Jinjo. Is there truly nothing else we can do? This is not the optimal solution, but it suffices as an option. Please, forgive me, but I cannot do as you say. A decade, a century... What if nobody comes up with a solution? By that time, the world will have turned its back on this forgotten city. And who would be willing to spend precious resources rescuing a small city in a far-off corner of the world? Jinjo's fate deserves better than an uncertain future. Whilst one may not live to witness the future, one can still envision endless possibilities yet to come. In my deduction, this method proves to be the most effective and stable. Magistrate Jinji, as you express doubts, pray tell how do you propose to solve this issue. The flow of time upon Mount Firmament is in disarray, and it can only be contained through one's utmost effort. If one does not freeze the time now, the situation in Jinjo shall surely worsen a hundredfold, or even a thousandfold, after one's passing. You once predicted a destined battle between us. Is it true? Correct. I was lost at first, struggling to grasp the prophecy's meaning. Only when I learned of your actions alongside the court of Savante did it all become clear. By clashing two resonating powers, a second resonance awakening can be induced. Through this, I am able to push my resonance ability beyond its limits and invoke the temporal mandate to restore the flow of time. Though I will be forced to raise my blade against you. Ridiculous! If you clash with my resonance power, even the smallest mistake will result in overclocking and leave you nothing but an empty husk. You are well aware of its excruciating effects. The pain you feel now is but a faint scratch in comparison to its true torment. Moreover, you will be trapped within the fissures of time itself. 
Your being will be relentlessly shredded and mended day after day, denied any respite for eternity. But I can restore the errors in the flow of time. Isn't that why you saved me all those years ago? I'm just doing what you've been doing all along. Going against fate to keep Jinjo safe. Jinshi, you are given one last opportunity. Let me freeze the time, and I can ensure your safety. Hmm. 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 What if I help her? I am here for a reason. You are only here to witness before the right time arrives. But you are not compelled to remain idle. Should you intervene, we may augment Jinshi's odds of survival by a fraction. Command me to transfer my temporal mandate access to Jinshi at the right moment. The moment of her resonance ability's depletion. When she is teetering on the brink of overclocking and near death. Then we may still save her life. Miss that moment by even the slightest margin. And Jinshi's fate will be sealed. Hmm. Hmm. So a fight between you two is unavoidable. Hmm, got silent. You hear that, people? Like, time to fight? I should have died a long time ago. But I was lucky enough to be saved by you. Allowing me the chance to see the glittering lights of Jinjo for myself. You rewinded time to save me. I am responsible. Jinjo is my home. If it's ever in danger, I will do everything in my power to protect what I hold dear. Even at the cost of my own life. Such a valiant speech. Do you know the weight of this decision? I understand your concerns. I will reach my second awakening with our destined confrontation. And restore the time flow. Are you willing to bet on me? Restore the time flow? Pray, from where does this confidence arise? You are my resonator, but your strength is only a fraction of mine. There is little chance for you to retreat unscathed. But I can at least win some hope for our people. Even if it costs me my soul, my everything, I cannot die without trying. I may only bear your power for a fleeting moment. It's all I need to secure a better future for Jin Jo, defying all of your predictions. And I can keep you safe. If there is anyone who can face you in a fight, that person has to be your resonator. I will be your final winning move in this game. <laughs> Are you truly ready to challenge a being worshipped by your kind? Will you not regret it when you meet your bitter demise? I will not regret it, no matter what. Very well, Magistrate of Genjo. Come to the summit. Demonstrate your prowess. Show me how you shall be my triumphant ace. Oh, battle begins. Oh, so it's like up there. Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Damn, what teleporting up here? Let's get started. Oh, I'm supposed to leave! Oh shit! There we go. Now we're getting started. Lord Arbiter, one is curious about your choice this time. Wherever the tides may take us, you will bear witness to our fight. Hmm. That big? Holy shit! Government must be guided by virtue. Chi, do you keep this in mind? Yes. Virtue must come first. Politics, commerce, it all must serve the people. From now on, you shall be known as Jinshi, bearing Jinjo's name as your own. What do you Ooh, think like of my head. this world? Like... here. Darkness clings, but lights flicker in the gloom. A guiding light is a Oh! Careful! Wash your heels, lady! Why they stand out so brightly against the darkness. This is gonna be an exciting boss fight, not gonna lie in this part. Ooh, let's see how this goes. Oh, this is gonna be a cutscene. I don't want that. That's gonna be boring. This entrance leads to one Sonoro Spear. Magistrate Jinshi. One shall await you there. Rover, this battle is related to the fate of Jinjo, and only you can open this Sonoro Sphere. The key to Jinjo's future lies in your hands. If I open it, Jinshi is bound to face you in the ultimate battle. The ideal outcome would be for her to absorb your power at the critical moment and restore the time flow without any loss of life. But there's a chance that she could push herself too far and end up dying from overclocking. Though, if I do nothing, you'll use your remaining power to freeze all of Jinjo in time. Hurry. Right. Now, please let us know your choice. Oh. Over. Can I kick his ass and I mean her ass instead? Hmm. There will be no turning back. I understand. I have made up my mind since before I stepped foot on Mount Firmament. Leaving Jinjo behind fills me with regret. Knowing I may never again bask in its glorious sunshine or witness the purity of its snowflakes. But that's why I'm here. To ensure that others can still experience the wonders of nature. Our city has a rich history, with generations witnessing endless sunrises and sunsets at the border. Our people have sacrificed their blood and tears to protect Huang Long's safety. They deserve a bright future. I want to protect Jinjo in my own way. As Jinshi. As a citizen of Jinjo, and as Jinjo's magistrate. Let's begin. I gotta concentrate. I'll give her a hug before she goes in. But it could be our fast, our final moment together. Okay, Danving. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh yeah, this is the boss fight. I can't wait to do it. It's only her. 
No, use grapple. Oh, oh shit. That is such a high that ooh ooh ow ooh I have to tell. And I'm dodging. Like I'm trying my best. I got a dodge a moment. Ooh. Ooh. Can I E again? Oh, I missed! Oh, stars. Heed my calling. Negligence on my part. Did I just... Jeez, I need to focus. Really? Come on, come on, come on. Do something about it. This is such an amazing- 20 HP! It went back up! Bullshit! I got a dodge, I got a dodge, I got a dodge. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this way. I dodge you. Is that a saw in your mouth? Ouch! Aha, got you. Oh my god. Oh, that could be my chance to attack with the head. Oh, this is not good. Can I heal? Hmm, I don't think I could. That does more damage! Jeez! I'm actually gonna win this, actually. Despite how much HP I got left. Not even close to you. Take this! Hmm? What? 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 What's going on? What's going on? Ooh, that was like a bad spot to be in. Quite the impressive feat, Magistrate Jinchi. Oh, I'm dodging those. You are still a long way from inheriting my power. I gotta dodge those. Woo, woo, woo. Back down now, while you still can. Nope, 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 nope. I'm still standing, still standing. I've made up my mind, and I will not back down. He once said it's not easy to become a candle of light, but I still want to try. I want to see if I can ignite a spark of hope for Jinjo. Like, ah! like, no, it's getting close to me. It's getting close to me. Don't touch me. It's going red. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What about ear Billy? It's so full. You think this will stop me? Hey, look at that, you see that? Like, please be over, I'm fucking done! Half dragon form. Mm, I like that from her. Lord Arbiter. Hmm? 
May this one transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi. I was called Lloyd. Ooh, my path like, seems to be interesting. This one has heard your decision. Now everything's on frozen now. <laughs> Including the people there. Look at that. The transfer has been carried out as you instructed. Jinji. One shall honor one's promise and restore Jinjo's future to you and its people. Oh, I find that boss is so amazing. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at you! You almost died there, girl! You're bleeding so much! You need to go to a doctor. Oh, have me heal you for you. No doctor needed. Oh my god. Where am I? Jinshi has recovered. One will soon send her back to Jinjo for recuperation. Please do not worry. With all matters resolved, as per the agreement, it is time for one to address you. You say me? One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Okay, talk to bottom. Ask about your past. I am Jue the Sentinel, the guide of Jinjo's civilization. Everything about Jinjo has been stored in my mind. You are my arbiter and my former master. Interesting! In I stood by your side as you established Jinjo City. You tasked me with safeguarding its prosperity. Who am I? This one begs your pardon. For it is not all-knowing. All my knowledge came from you. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Ask about the choice and the asses. In the past, one was granted the key to that Sonoro sphere by your hand. You said you planned to participate in history. To make choices and witness the development of civilization. One had previously requested for permission to transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi, as that is how one is designed to function. Every ounce of my existence, from life to death, and even the passing on of power, is subject to your approval. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Ask about Jinshi's condition. Since Jinshi has inherited my power, the temporal programs are now complete. Jinjo is no longer under threat. Jinshi has fully assumed the mantle of leadership. From this day forth, 
One shall only offer it when it is truly needed. Why didn't you tell Jinshi about it earlier? This situation has been analyzed before, but the number of variables made reaching a safe conclusion impossible. To accomplish a goal, Jinshi must possess both strength and confidence. Revealing the truth to her earlier would only add to her troubles and not aid in improving her abilities. Today was not the ideal moment for our destined battle to unfold, but that Fraxidus has remarkably escalated its arrival. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Ask about the current situation in the Hogshen. The flow of time on Mount Firmament has been restored to its natural pace. But the citizens of Hongzhen must still contend with shortened lifespans should they attempt to depart. Fortunately, with Jinshi's resonance ability, they can stay safe as long as they remain on the mountain. For lack of a better solution, this is the best we can do. Through countless ages, the imposing Mount Firmament stood firm against the storms. But as spring brings thunder and change, one feels a spark of transformation in the air. The people of Hongzhen have a bright future ahead. One that can be steered in the right direction within mere days with proper leadership. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. I have no other questions. Your tacit mark. There is something unusual. Hmm, Abby wake up, someone's asking about you. Abby! Uh. Uh, what? 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 What's wrong? Turn around. Look what's behind you. Rover, who's bullying you? Oh shit, he's big! Huh? Is it you, big thing? Huh? How dare you? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. He's like, chill, little bitch. It smells like the unnatural smell I smelled in Jinzhou before. Well, about the sensor I was looking for. Eh? Oh, so you must be that sentinel. <laughs> Hello there, big one. Rover, why didn't you wake me up earlier? I got a feeling I missed out on a lot of fun. It does feel similar to me, but there is some difference. Do you know what it is? This entity is unfamiliar to me. As it resides within your tacit mark, one can only assume you granted it access intentionally. Then who else can answer my questions? Lord Arbiter, have you heard of the Black Shores? Is there another map area? The Black Shores? I heard of them. The Black Shores is the starting point of your journey in this world. If you have doubts, this one suggests a visit to that island. I'll keep it in mind. Worry not, the weathering waves ebb and flow. They shall send you back to where you belong. Look at the floor like that, you see that? Does it fall around free like that? Suggests heading back to Hongzhen to reunite with your companions, Lord Arbiter. Oh, like... 
with mobbed firmament no longer posing a threat. Surely, Hong Jen will undergo significant changes. Hmm, yeah. Ooh, I know, I use grapples. Oh, I'm sliding! Wee! What's your heels? Oh, don't twist your ankle, Bassident. Oh, this is satisfying fun. Let's go faster. Woohoo, going down first. This course is about finish, I just know it. I'm just heading back down. You see, oh, I missed one! Oh, that was back then. What? Oh, I can't. You said, oh, my toes are getting cold from doing this. You be good. How am I gonna do this? Uh, one was down. Ooh, we're going down way faster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go, there we go. There we go, shoot ahead. Oh, okay. Now I have to go this way. Now let's head that way. <gasps> Wee! Let me bounce that way. Wee! Yeah. Everyone is moving again. You see that? No more fussy this anymore. That's good. That's good. What are these people? No. What about um? Is she good? Oh, the sea just moon. It's just freely again. We could breathe just fine now with everyone around. Mount Firmament glowed with the sun's light, high above the clouds and snow. Then, suddenly, they vanished, revealing a distant blue sky. In the midst of it all, stood a white-haired maiden, like a goddess descended from the heavens. With a mere wave of her hand, she brought forth a new season, transforming the streets below. This maiden was none other than the dead infant, now reborn as the Magistrate of Jinjo. When thunder roars in spring's embrace, the sun shall shine upon this place. For only through death and strife can one truly embrace new life. Oh my god, it's her again. Hmm. I see. Doesn't matter. That's not important for our goal. That sounds... Hmm, British? We have the answers we wanted already. With the second resonance awakening, we will tap into powers that rival the sentinels. Complete control of the artificial resonator awakening process is within reach. And lastly, about that rover. Hmm. This trip was worth it. We've collected many wonderful notes, haven't we? It's about time. Get moving. Can't let a certain oh, heels, damn! Be too long behind bars. Hmm, that's the end. Oh, this is more story quests, is that more? Oh, that's pretty much it. Oh, well, I'm gonna avail. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.